In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use switch case in Java to get it working in your program and also explain it to you step by step. So we're all good, you know what's going on. Confusion eliminated is the goal here. Hey, welcome to the channel, it's Alex. I hope you're having a great day. On this channel, I make a Java tutorial for you every single week to help you learn Java the easy way. So if you're new here, then consider subscribing. We'll start off learning how to use switch case in Java by just creating a new Java project. I like to create a Java project for each tutorial because it kind of sets, sets everything up and we're all on the same page. So I'm just gonna name it something like switch case, hit finish, and then on the source folder, right click and go to new class. Just name it like switch case again, hit this public static void main checkbox, and then hit finish. Let's say we have an if statement or a set of if statements and we want to see the day of the week. We have numbers one through seven. If a user enters three, it should bring Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We'll say int day is equal to three. And then if day is equal to zero, then we want to print out Sunday. Sunday, like that. Otherwise, if the day is one, then I'm a little OCD about my formatting. I like it when there's no space at the end. Then we'll print out Monday and so on. And you can, you can already start to get the feel of how tedious this is gonna be. But I'm gonna do it anyway and I'll skip to you when it's done. And I made a mistake here. This is supposed to be starting at one. So I'll save it and run it. We get Tuesday printed out and the code here looks a little messy and tedious. We have an integer j, day equal to three, and then we go through this big set of if statements. If day is one, print Sunday. If day is two, print Monday. If day is three, print Tuesday. And so then we print three. To make it a little cleaner, we can use a switch case statement. Basically, instead of repeating all this day equals this, day equals this, day is equal to this, we can take the day and then switch between it instead of comparing it over and over and over. I'm gonna delete everything and use switch case. So we wanna switch through our day variable. So the keyword is just switch here, like that, oh, I'm the worst speller. And then put your parentheses and then some curly braces. Kinda looks like an if statement so far. Right here we have a red underline because we have to put the variable we wanna switch between. So we put day. Next, the syntax is a little confusing. It's a little unlike most other Java things, so it takes some getting used to, but you type the word case and then a colon, and then I'm just gonna tab that in there to make it easier to look at. Now this is where the comparison happens. So we say case one, then print out Sunday. This means if day is equal to one, then print Sunday. So if I change that to one real quick and save it and run it here, then we get Sunday. Well, what about the other days now? Type the keyword break, and then we go into the next case, which is two, if day is two. So we type case two, colon. If day is two, then we print out Monday, and we break out of that. On the third case, if day is three, then we wanna print out Tuesday. And so the biggest confusing part for me here was the syntax, like how it looks. Like you have this confusing keyword switch, like what, what, and then case and then a colon. Colons aren't really used too much in programming. But I'm just gonna finish this, this up and then we'll go through the entire flow right after. Okay, so here is the complete code. I've changed that set of if, else if, else if, else if, else if statements into a switch, switch between the day variable, and then for each case, I have the day. It kind of acts like if day is equal to one, then do this code. If day is equal to two, do this code. So logically, they're the exact same. I'll change this to three again, save it and run it and we get Tuesday. What's happening here is when we click the run button, we go into our main method. The first line of code in the main method is an integer variable called day that is equal to three. 
Next, we see this keyword switch, which runs code based on what day is equal to. Case one means if day is equal to one, then run this code after the colon. If day is equal to two, run this code, and so on. It's a little more spaced out, and we're not repeating this, um, this day equals equals one, day equals equals two in all those if statements. And here at the end, if we wanted to do something like an else, if day is not one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, it can behave differently. Say um, you didn't enter a valid day. You can say the keyword default here is sort of like, if it's not any one of these, it'll default here. And it would print out not a valid day number. Like that, save it and run it. Uh, let's change the number here. Let's do something like nine. Nine's not between one and seven, so we'll hit run. And we get not a valid day number because when we were switching between the day variable to see what the day variable is, it was never one of these. So we defaulted to this code. You can also use a switch case with strings. So I'm gonna do that right now for you. Say we have a string um, dog equals say like a Pomeranian. Okay, and we wanna switch between the dog variable. We would type switch just like before. We put our dog variable inside of the parentheses, and then we put our curly braces and that's where each case goes. So if our dog is a Pomeranian, we type case Pomeranian, and then our colon, and tab that in. I don't know why it does that, it should just be formatted. Make sure the colon's outside of the quotes. So if it's Pomeranian, we'll just um, like print out small, like a small dog. And then we would just break out of the switch statement because we got something that matched. If there was another case, like um, let's say if the dog is equal to a Great Dane, then we'll print out large dog, large dog, like that, and break out of it since we got a match. Or if it's not either one of these two, try a different dog name. Okay, save that and run it. And we see small dog like we expect. When we click the run button, we go into our main method. The first line of code it sees is we have a string dog is equal to Pomeranian. We wanna switch between that dog variable and run different code based on what the dog is. In the first case, if a dog is a Pomeranian, then we'll print out small dog. And since in this case, dog is Pomeranian, that's what we'll do and we'll break out of this, these curly braces here, and then that's the end. If this was Great Dane, we can test that out by typing Great Dane, save it and run it. Then we go into the switch statement, switch between dog. We see that in this case, it's not Pomeranian. So we skip over it. We try the next case, dog is Great Dane. So we'll run this code and break out and then we're done. So I really hope that this helped you with switch case in Java. For me, it was a little confusing because I could just use if statements. Like there was really not a need to use switch case. They can look cleaner, but they can also be more confusing and not as useful or flexible, but it's another option for you. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and comment, share this with a friend if you think it might help them. As always, I appreciate you being here because you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and I appreciate that so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.